Hi guys, welcome to this video. If you look at articleinfo, there is a page, let's do it, Control Alt F. There is a page where you, we teach you guys that there is just more than the word Articlex. We are working on Arch and we teach you Arch. And there are several ways to install Arch Linux. And there is three ISOs for Arclinx, one for Carly, three ISOs from Ariser, seven ISOs from ALCI, one ISO from Arch Linux, the ISO, uh, sorry, the Archway, meaning you have to type everything in, which I dread doing, right? And there's another one that has a script, Arch install, and that's this, guys, this video, or this desktop has been created with the Arch Linux ISO, look at the date, the 1st of June, every month the first of the day of the month we get an iso and last month there was a python update and the arch install didn't work anyway not on mine right i got on there and said, well, said whatever well we'll just wait and get the new iso in so the first of june is working so you can try out and um, have a go at what a, one of the what ifs you could do say what if i try to install arch linux and then <coughs> with this script arch install that eric is talking about here phase seven arch install lots and lots of videos about arch install you scroll through them get to know the way of, of working there are 41 videos right i think that's enough 41 videos to learn about arch install because anything is possible with Arch Linux. It's uh, just like big Lego box, get, grab some apps, grab some configs, change some bash or C or ZSH or C or fish or even more shells, right? It is all possible. And the knowledge, well, is first of course on our website, let's promote our own websites, but also the Arch Wiki. This is one of the reasons why I've chosen Arch Linux and not Debian or Linux or Gen2 or NixOS or anything else because of the knowledge that's in here. And I do understand, right, that it's complex, that it's the installation guide as they write it down is super, super complex. If you never ever installed a Linux system, this is just too much, right? That's why there are here these tutorials. Arch Linux start. Let's do it the Arch way on the old computers, on the new computers, and then you go through the phases. And in the end, you choose your desktop. You see, I have chosen ChatWM. So basically, I've told the system Arch install. There are some choices that you can make in Arch install. So have a look at the videos. But I took X4, a home directory, uh, no home directory, I mean, no partition slash home. Um, X4, no encryption, nothing like that that um, the swap I kept it on and then I chose for desktop for XFCE4 I got my XFCE4 you can uh, see that in the content of uh, LS user share X sessions right so I have something else installed XFCE so that's my go-to desktop and then add PSPWM or add leftwm or add i3 and um, well in this case I'm as you know, already in 2023, and we're now mid 2024. I've been on chat WM all the time, and in 2022, was on left WM all the time. So choose your um, Linux distribution, right? There's so many to choose from, but also choose your desktop. Then, then after installing XFCE, the fun can start. You can use something similar as the Arconix Nemesis scripts. And basically I run this thing and then I go eat, right? I just stop. I mean, that's why the machine is there. It should work. It just should do its thing. And it's installing all kinds of things. And this question is here somewhere. Do you want to install ChatWM in your system? Each time I run it, you'll ask yes or no. We create a file at a certain place and later on in the scripts we say if that file is there then you're gonna install chatwm otherwise right just skip it so here is a way of installing your 
operating system and it's not going to be perfect, right? It's not going to be the perfect look of any of our systems. I mean, you can compare JetWM, for example, or Mate or Plasma with other distributions. People make choices. I want that application. I want that shell. I want this color. I want that wallpaper, right? And that's the fun. This is also like Arclix D, a little bit of Sherlock Holmes. Arclix D is now Arco Pro, yeah. <laughs> and that's why it can be fun and a challenge. So it shouldn't be your system to work on. It should be your learning system, right? Say, oh, where, where is that package? How do I do this? How do I do that? Don't come and ask us, right? Be the Sherlock Holmes, figure it out and go compare. That's the only way I've learned never looked anything up I compare things why is this working here or why is this not working there what's the difference packages configs and stuff all right so this is another way of installing and maybe for those guys who yeah have issues with with drivers and all that it's still the same issue right it's Arch Linux whether it's Arch Linux or and never was or big Linux there are so many of these Arch Linux based systems it's always figuring out what do I have? Let's say you have five PCs, they will all be different and they will all have different drivers and configs and settings and you have to figure it out PC per PC. And then if you figured it out, guys, put it in a script, right? Once figured out, I just write it down and then you don't have to do anything anymore, right? You just go for any of these things that I figured out in the past, how to install XAMPP WordPress if you know what it is doesn't matter but some games here as well i see so things that you figured out put it in a script so for next time around after a clean installation you say come on let's install this again and everything will be quickly up and running and that's the goal right to stay in control on any arch links distro we can run the scripts and we're in, in control and we have a look and a design and a feel that we like all right, enjoy our chillings.